campaigns have made their presence known in Wisconsin in the days leading up to tomorrow's election. Fox 11's Mark Leland joins us this morning on special assignment with a look at how the race is shaping up in the Badger State. Well, our state isn't a must win for either President Barack Obama or Republican Mitt Romney, but it sure could help both candidates make victory a little easier. That's why both campaigns keep coming back for more face time with voters. It is good to be back in Green Bay, Wisconsin. What a great state, what a great welcome, and by the way, this state is going to help me become the next president of the United States. After all the campaigning and the political commercials, I'm Mitt Romney. I'm Barack Obama, and I approve this message. The end is finally near. Wisconsin hasn't chosen a Republican presidential nominee in 28 years when it selected Ronald Reagan. But political experts tell us this year's close race is a good sign for turning Wisconsin Republican red. The fact that we are a competitive state for the presidential, a state that hasn't been won by a Republican since 1984. I think that's a good sign for Republicans. But winning Wisconsin isn't a guarantee for either President Barack Obama or Mitt Romney that they will win the election. Wisconsin remains just a piece of the political puzzle. States like Ohio, Wisconsin, Colorado, uh, Virginia, and Florida are, are sort of the major states. and. Depending on how those states fall is really going to make the largest determination for, you know, who wins this election. A candidate needs 270 electoral votes to win. Each state is assigned a number of electoral votes based on population. Now, most of the states have already been pretty much decided, whether they're going Romney or Obama, based on trends and polls. But of those toss-up states remaining, either side could still claim victory. Here's how. The four states with the most votes at stake are Florida, Virginia, Ohio, and Wisconsin. And if Mitt Romney were to get all four of those, that's enough for him to win. Obama's road to victory is a little easier. He can win by capturing as few as three states. One winning combination is Nevada, Ohio, and Wisconsin. Mitt Romney has a very tough map. He almost has to get everything right in order to win. You know, Obama is playing um, defense uh, everywhere. Um, and he has more margin of error. And while both sides expect the race to be close, in Wisconsin, the most recent polls from St. Norbert College and Marquette University give the edge to Obama. The experts say the key to victory, though, will come down to which side gets the voters to the polls. Who is most effective on getting their, uh, what I like to call, lazy voters to the polls, those who don't vote regularly, probably only vote presidential elections, and probably only vote if you, uh, you know, bug them enough, drag them to the polls, whatever it takes. The campaigns with their push to get the vote out know the importance of every single vote. The commitment I want to get from you is that you'll find someone who voted for Barack Obama last time and make sure they vote for me this time. We're going to pull an all-nighter. No sleep. Wisconsin's other statewide race, the one for U.S. Senate between Tammy Baldwin and Tommy Thompson, is also in need of every last voter. These races are going to be decided by, you know, one, two percentage points at best, probably. And those living in northeast Wisconsin could be just the deciding factor. While the presidential elections in 2004 and 2008 showed Democrats fared best in the large metropolitan areas of Milwaukee County and Dane County, the Republicans did their best in the rural counties. As you can see from the maps, northeast Wisconsin isn't a stronghold for either party. It often comes down to sort of these, um, these melded areas like northeast Wisconsin and, and the sort of the Appleton-Green Bay corridor. It's, it's, a large, it's a large group of voters there. It's, it, it, it's a flip-flopping area of voters. Sometimes it goes to Democrats, sometimes it goes Republican. That's why both parties, with the candidates, political friends, and even celebrities, the enthusiasm is, is amazing, have continued to the end to make the push here in northeast Wisconsin looking for your vote. Now, Wisconsin is among several states that could help swing the election, so those other states are being bombarded with visits as well. Stopping in Wisconsin today, though, will be President Obama at a rally in Madison, as we mentioned earlier, and a Republican vice presidential candidate Paul Ryan will wrap up his day with a rally in Milwaukee tonight, Rachel. And with Paul Ryan being from Wisconsin, will that be a big factor in Wisconsin's role in this race to the White House? You know, you got you to think so. Both sides do acknowledge that uh, Paul Ryan will play a big role 
role here. He says he has, they say that he has made an impact. Political experts, though, say it is because of Ryan that the state is as close as it is right now. But really, people will be casting their votes for Obama or Romney. And those are the candidates that really have to stand out. And that's why we keep seeing Ro Ro Romney and President Obama coming back for more. Yeah, instead of sending the vice presidential candidates. So let's talk a little bit about you being at the computer and playing yes. around with it. Yes. That looks kind of fun, like a little video game there. And but you say Wisconsin is just a part of the puzzle. It is just part of a puzzle. We showed you how Wisconsin could actually play an impact, right. but, but as, as we said, it doesn't necessarily have to turn out that way. Um, it, it's kind of fun to check out the different combinations. We've actually set up a link on our website, fox11online.com, where you can go and you can play around with the different combinations and then uh, see just what needs to, to take place in order for your candidate to win. And then you could check it out uh, tomorrow night and see how the scenario plays out. I was out. just going to say that might make it interesting yes. for tomorrow night as you see the electoral votes. You know, once you see the East Coast coming in, you can see, mm -hmm. well, Virginia went this way, Ohio went this way, and, and you can see how it's going to play out from there. Very interesting. Yeah.